Hello everyone, I am Janani, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Kesa College of Arts and Science for Women. In today's session, we are going to see the structure of benzene and the concept of aromaticity. Benzene, which has the molecular formula C6H6, is the simplest aromatic hydrocarbon. Unlike the other unsaturated hydrocarbons like alkenes, alkynes and diamines, which are readily undergo addition reaction. But in case of benzene, it doesn't undergo any kind of those reaction. Structure of benzene. The structure of benzene must account the following facts, such as uh, it must contain a six-membered ring and there are additional degrees of unsaturation. Mm, it is planar. All the carbon-to-carbon -carbon bond lengths are equal. Kekul demonstrated a structure for benzene, which satisfies the first two conditions but it fails to satisfy the third condition. Although benzene is still drawn as six-membered ring with alternating five bonds, there is no equilibrium between the two different benzene structures. Current description of benzene are based on the op orbital overlap and resonance. In the 19th century, many other compounds having properties similar to those of benzene were isolated from the natural sources. Since these compounds possess strong and characteristic orders, so they were called as aromatic compounds. The resonance structure of benzene. The resonance description of benzene consists of two equivalently with structure, each with three double bonds that alternate with the three single bond. So they are conjugated bonds. The two structure of benzene is resonance hybrid of the two Levy structure with the dashed lines of the hybrid indicating the position of the pi bonds. We will use one of the two Levy structure and not the hybrid as drawing benzene. That will be make it easier to keep track of the electron pair in the pi bond. And this is the structure of benzene where you can see the alternating double bonds. In the benzene has six pi electrons having three pi bonds. You can also see the alternating double bond present in the benzene structure. And in the hybrid structure, the electrons in the pi bonds are delocalized around the ring. So we represent it using dashed lines. The unhybridized p orbital over each carbon has overlap with each other, which is shown in the figure. The angle and the length bond length between the benzene carbon atoms are shown here. Benzene, the actual bond length is 1.39 Armstrong which is intermediate between the carbon to carbon single bond and the carbon to carbon double bond. So it also accounts for the unusual stability of benzene. The criteria for aromaticity. A molecule must be cyclic. To be aromatic, each p orbital must overlap with the p orbital of an adjacent atom. A molecule must be planar. All adjacent p orbital must be aligned so that the pi electron density can be delocalized. The p orbital must overlap continuously around the ring. A molecule must be completely conjugated so that aromatic compounds must have a p orbital on every atom and each must overlap with the adjacent p orbital. You can see that completely conjugated pi bond only gives the aromatic compound. The other two rings shows the non-aromatic compounds. A molecule must satisfy the Huckel's rule which requires a particular number of pi electrons. An aromatic compound must contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons. That is, the n may be 0 to so on, 0, 1, 2, 3 and it's so on. Cyclic, planar and completely conjugated compounds that contains 4n pi electrons are especially unstable and are said to be anti-aromatic. So, benzene must have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Benzene is aromatic and especially stable because it contains 6 electrons. Okay, the compound to be aromatic and anti-aromatic uh, must follow 4n plus 2 and 4n rule. Benzene will have 6 pi electrons and the cyclobutadiene which is an anti-aromatic compound will have 4 pi electrons. Huckel's rule of pi electrons will be uh, 2, 6, 10, 14 and 18 pi electrons and it, the number goes on. This shows the aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compound and its rules. That is 4n plus pi, 2 pi electrons represent aromatic compounds and 4n pi electrons represent anti-aromatic compounds and uh, 
a compound that lacks one of the following requirement of aromaticity being cyclic, planar, and completely constituted shows the non aromatic compound. Anti aromatic compounds are also cyclic conjugated with overlapping p orbital around the ring, but the energy of the compound is greater than its open chain counterpart. Whereas in non aromatic compounds, do not show a continuous ring of overlapping p orbital and may be non planar. Electrophilic substitution reaction. Benzyl will undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. This is the basic substitution reaction. You can see here the electrophile will attack the carbon present in the benzyl ring. It will form an intermediate. Finally, it gives a product, substituted product. General mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction. First, the attack of an electrophile forms a sigma complex which on losing of electron gives a substitution product. In this chapter, we are going to see the substitution mechanism of alkylation, azylation, halogenation, sulfonation, bromination, and so on. Hope you all enjoyed the session. Thank you.